Portland Boxing Club fighters have been doing very well in the early rounds of the USA New England Boxing Championships. Bobby Russo, the club's president and head coach, talked with Leslie McVeigh about what to look for when the club hosts the tournament final on Thanksgiving weekend. Hi, Bobby. How are you? Good. And you, Leslie? Great. You've got an, import an important event coming up. But before we talk about that, just let our viewers know that um, Portland Boxing is really more than about boxing. It's about building character, building people's lives. Yep, it is. You know, it's just a, it's a very tough sport, for mm -hmm. one thing. And we tend to, the kids that come from the toughest backgrounds tend to gravitate towards boxing. So, I mean, just in that, they, you know, the, not all of them, of course. Some, we have a lot of kids that come from regular families yeah. and stuff. But, I mean, actually the ones in a lot of cases that do the best come from the toughest background, mm -hmm. almost that makes their character almost tougher. Yeah. So, it's, a, you know, it's challenging. The kids are somewhat challenging. But, uh, you know, it just seems they, it's something that they really uh, respond to. And, uh, and they do well. There's a lot of discipline involved. Yeah, and discipline and structure, which is probably missing in their lives in other areas so you've you've taken that and and embraced it we have you know they a lot of these kids they don't participate in regular mm -hmm. sports and uh, for some one reason or another but but we we are even though it's an individual sport we do we're a team yeah and we're a support system yeah. and you know we do, we're a nonprofit group and we spend a lot of, of money on the kids we've sent kids to college uh, I think and it's wonderful and 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 through that program, over the years, you've built an incredible boxing team that yeah. has gone all the way to the nationals. Yes. Um, and it starts right here at Portland Boxing. And coming up is, is a huge event. It's the New England Finals. It is. And you've got all kinds of people going to this. I think we have seven in, yeah. in, the, in the finals. Um, it's all various. Um, levels of experience. Mm -hmm. sub, there's some kids that are just starting, but it's a sub-novice, novice, and open class. Um, we have a 14 bout schedule that night, and so Portland has half of them. Wow. And, uh, you know, the open class, th those winners will advance on to the national championships. And if you win there, you're number one in the country, and, yeah. and you'd be boxing on the U.S. boxing team. Which means you travel internationally as well as within the country. Internationally, and it's also the team that becomes the Olympic team. Yeah. Now, you're hosting this finals. Is that unusual for Maine? I've had it actually the last five years. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, but it's uh, something that you bid on, uh -huh. and you get it. And I've won the bid the past five years. That's great. And we've, you know, we've done the best job with it. Yeah. We really have. And I think that they, I think the USA New England uh, Association wants us to have it because they we, appreciate what you've done we do we make it a really sh special event now it's thanksgiving weekend yes yeah so that means friday saturday it's saturday oh, it's just saturday just saturday night yeah. and where is it going to be held this will be at the uh, stevens avenue armory oh okay so you set up a boxing ring there and yep. and all sorts of things yeah we had a couple thousand people there last year each mm -hmm. year we bring in a celebrity that you know uh we've had the heavyweight champion buster douglas there uh, Mickey Ward. Oh. This year it's Vinnie Paz. Vinnie Pazienza, the five-time world champion from Rhode Island. And he's known as Paz. Yeah, Vinnie Paz. Yeah, yeah. so he's and, uh, five times champion? He's a five-time world champion. Wow. Quite so a, will he a do a demonstration or will he just talk? Or will he no, just he'll sign autographs and oh. talk to the people and take uh -huh. pictures and that kind of stuff. And they have a, a movie coming out about his life. They do. He's, uh, they have a book on him. He, he's a great story. He's, like Mickey Ward was there last year who's got yeah. a movie. And, and uh, uh, Vinny has is, is, is got an equally as good story. I can't wait. He, he got in a car accident. They oh. said he'd never box again. He won two world titles after that. Well, it shows you what determination and willpower can do. Yeah. Now, if people want to get tickets, how do they go about doing that? They, they're on sale at Bruno's Restaurant, mm -hmm. and this is the only, we do two shows at the club earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no reserved seating. You just just come yeah, and yeah. bring it. Um, but here, there's reserved seating, the ringside seating, and so on, so we can accommodate a lot of people there. And, mm -hmm. and, and um, they just would call you if they want more information or email you? Yep, they can, and, or they can go to our website, portlandboxingclub.org. Okay. And uh, 
and all, all the information is on yep. there. Yep. Well, it sounds exciting, and I know there'll be some some of your alumni coming back to enjoy oh, yeah, this as sure. well. And I thank you for being here and for doing this. Thank you. It's becoming like a Thanksgiving weekend tradition. Yeah. Great. You know, Just so like the Portland Deering game, huh? We've, we're going to steal that from them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs>